In a scene eerily reminiscent of the last beheading, an American journalist is kneeling in front of a terrorist. Freelance reporter Stephen Sotloff speaks first. I am Stephen Joel Sotloff. I'm sure you know exactly who I am by now and why I am appearing before you. Later in the video, the same terrorist with a heavy British accent directly addresses President Obama. So just as your missiles continue to strike our people, our knife will continue to strike the necks of your people. And with his combat knife, he carries out the beheading, and the video fades to black. The video is released a few hours before President Obama leaves for Eastern Europe and the NATO summit. But the White House did not immediately confirm the video's authenticity. Press Secretary Josh Ernest. Uh, our thoughts and prayers, first and foremost, are with Mr. Sotloff and Mr. Sotloff's family. In his diatribe, the murderer spoke of U.S. airstrikes on the Mosul Dam, the largest dam in Iraq, and strikes on Amr Lee, a town in northern Iraq. There, residents celebrated after Iraqi forces, aided by U.S. airstrikes, ended the Islamic State's hold on that city. Despite this brutal second murder of a second journalist, the Pentagon says it will not stop airstrikes, especially at the Mosul Dam. As long as they continue to pose a threat to the facility, we're going to continue to hit them. Stephen Sotloff's life was threatened two weeks ago by the same masked executioner who beheaded U.S. journalist James Foley. The terrorist said Sotloff would be next to die if the U.S. continued airstrikes against the Islamic State. Shortly after that, Sotloff's mother Shirley made a direct appeal to the extremist group leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, to release her son. I ask you to use your authority to spare his life. At the end of this latest video, Sotloff's killer threatens to continue the pattern and behead British journalist David Haynes. Analysts say the extremist group is much worse than al-Qaeda. David Kilcullen heads a security strategy firm. He spoke via Skype. They've made literally millions of dollars in uh, kidnapping um, ransom. And uh, they've been getting some support from extremist groups uh, around the region and, uh, and other groups. So they've got a sort of mixture of funding streams. But the most significant development is that having captured these Iraqi cities in the last a weeks or so, they are now the richest uh, terrorist group in the world, north of $500 billion worth of resources. Catherine Gorka of the Council on Global Security on Al Hura TV says the U.S. will now fight differently in Iraq. I do think you'll see stronger uh, special forces strength in Iraq now, though. I think that'll be supported by strength from the air, whether it's drones, airstrikes, intelligence, that will play a role. Government officials say the U.S. military is not the answer to defeating the Islamic State terrorists. They say good governing inside Iraq will stop them. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News, Washington.